We're playing Eden. That's it. That's 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 the intro. I just felt like playing another Eden run today. This is a, a good start as well. I literally just booted up the game. And I'm happy with the start that I've been granted. So that's quite something, isn't it? It's not not a not an everyday occurrence that so you get a good Eden start. Right off the bat. Mucomycosis is great. I like my tier rate and damage as well. Welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs> Do I sound robotic enough yet? Hmm, yes, I I should just keep saying the, the same words and weird intonations. <laughs> Does this qualify as quality commentary? Is this why people watch this channel? Is this why anybody cares about... Right, I have a remote detonator. I was like, why the hell is a bomb not blowing up? It's because I need to blow it up. I am in control of it. Okay, that was a bit too eager, maybe? <laughs> maybe that one was a bit eager. Um, what a weird floor. There's a library, too? What the hell? <laughs> Three special rooms adjacent to this tall room, by the way. What the hell is going on here? Ooh, diplopia. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, let's check this first. Ah, well. It's it's okay, I guess. Ah, uh, I feel like secret room is right here, actually. Okay. G. B. Bug. I shall leave that there in the freakish chance that there may be a reroll available to me. That being said, I doubt it's likely, but it could happen. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen, but if it does, that would be awesome. I guess I'll just wait, right? I'm sure I'll remember to come back for it, and if not, then I'll cry. I, I guess that's also possible. I'm starting to believe I probably won't get any- wait, that's a ultra tinted rock? I didn't even notice. Uh, this is a super tinted rock right here. Hot damn. I did not notice the first time around. I am- I, I did mention previously, I am horrible at spotting them. So that was evidence once more that I am indeed horrible at spotting Super tinted rocks. Something about them, just... I... I see a rock not get deleted by a bomb, even though it's right next to it. And it just doesn't even click in my brain that it could be a super tinted rock. I'm just like, oh, it must have not been in an explosion radius, even if the bomb was right next to it. Kamikamikosis is such a funny effect. It kind of just rules. Oh my lord, I love me that as well. What do we have in here? Nothing, okay. Well, um... I guess it's time to grab GB bug. Hey, maybe I'll actually remember to use it this time. Right, there's a... A red heart just lying around in the sack room, for instance, that I have pretty much no use for whatsoever. So, um, hey, GB bug. A coin's more useful to me. Is it hookworm, huh? Ooh, more options. Hello there. Why, yes, of course. I will gladly take that. It really is a, a range up, which uh, ironically this gives you. So, you know what? Fine. It's a bit of a tears up as well. Maybe I can work with the whole zip zooping that it does. Maybe. Uh, or maybe I will. Lose my mind over it. Either one is possible, I guess. What's this? Halo flies, chemical peel, gamble. Okay, well, they were all pretty mid items at the end of the day. Also, no, I do not like the hookworm here. The tears and range is great, but come on. I, I can't take that. It's too annoying to use. I just don't feel like using it. Owie. What the fuck? Jibiba can reroll enemies? I did not know that. I thought it was just consumables. I guess I should have read what it does at some point, but I never do because who reads? Honestly, I don't know how to read. I actually like to think that I am borderline dyslexic. Or at least I struggle with reading comprehension. I don't know, I don't really think I do. It's just that I, like, tend to skim read, like, almost everything, and, uh, I just try to gleam the context from that, and if I cannot get the context from just perusing a message or a piece of text, in five seconds, then it's gonna require too much of my attention and I won't do it. <laughs> but I, I do think I might actually be borderline dyslexic just because of the fact that I literally haven't, like, read a book. Outside of having to read one for school? Uh, ever. <laughs> I think. I don't think I've- I recall a single time that I've read a book as, like, a leisurely recreational thing. The only times in my life that I've read books was for school. Because I was forced to, as a school assignment, and we're gonna talk about it, and it was gonna be graded, etc, etc. And even then, most of the time, I wouldn't even read the damn books. I would just read the fucking online summaries of them. So I didn't have to actually do any of the work. So, yeah, basically, I'm I'm kind of fucked up like that. I'm kind of twisted. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. I don't think I'm actually dyslexic, because I can, like, read words, right? I know dyslexia... People make fun of it, but dyslexia is, like, an actual condition, right? It's, like, an actual... I don't know how to call it mental illness. Because it just... It fucks you up, right? It affects you in a way where you really struggle actually learning how to read and how to decipher words and you know words don't really look the same to you as they would to normal people and stuff like that I, at least that's how i understand it i don't actually have that so i'm not going to be the guy that self-diagnoses but i'm certainly not a fast reader 
I, I never really was a fast, comprehensive reader. Even when I would read books for school, there were a lot of times when I would just phase out while reading. I'd just get in the zone, right? And then within five minutes realize that I didn't actually comprehend any of the information that my brain soaked up over the last five minutes. It would just be random. Like, it would just randomly disappear. Yo, Stigmata is cool. Let's go. Another Curse of the Unknown, by the way. I guess the game really is just adamant on not letting me know what my HP is for the rest of the run. Ah, uh, that's annoying. <laughs> that's an annoying room. Lemon Party. I might as well use it against the boss if it's a terrestrial boss. And if it's an airborne boss, I guess I'll just go f I don't know, fuck myself? I suppose that's the only other outcome. The only reasonable outcome. I, I'll, I'll just go bugger off. It's the only thing I can do. Uh, well, he is technically terrestrial sometimes when he ground pounds, uh, plus his leeches, so this works. Also, this is the best blub arena I've ever seen in my life. It doesn't have any rocks or pits or anything like that. It's crazy. I didn't know that was even possible. More damage! Let's go! I should check my curse room, actually. Might as well, right? Let's see what we got ourselves into here. See what kind of trouble I can find in here. Any rats, perhaps? Isn't it wild how there's no rat enemies in this game? Can we just talk about that real quick? We're, we're in Binding of Isaac. You're diving into like a basement. There's all kinds of creeps scurrying around. Spiders, flies, poop monsters. There's, there's all kinds of freaks down here, right? Where are the rats? I'm literally in a sewer right now. Where are the rats, dude? All I'm saying is I think there should be more rats in Isaac. He is down. Lovely. That's that's what I get for being a rat enthusiast, I guess. Okay. I see how it is. Fuck me, I guess. All I'm saying is there should be more rats. I, I don't recall there being any rat-based enemies or items or anything like that in this game. Kind of an oversight, in my opinion. Even Enter the Gungeon has a rat. And his entire existence is basically just a massive Metal Gear Solid reference. <laughs> so really, what were they thinking? Not putting rats in this game, man. It'd be a perfect fit. All kinds of eldritch monsters and biblical horrors and all that stuff. And yet, no rats? Really? I can't believe nobody's ever talked about this. What's that all about, huh? Does Edmund hate rats? Maybe I should reconsider my choices of supporting this game ever. <laughs> Maybe it's not one of my favorite games anymore because there's no rats. <laughs> okay, we're going a bit too deep. It, it's not that deep. I actually don't care. But it is, it is funny to me. It is, it is a curiosity how there's a apparent lack of rodents in this game. We'll enjoy our time on the ash pit, aka we won't enjoy our time on the ash pit because it's the fucking ash pit. It's the worst floor in the game. <laughs> I still don't know what I hate more, ash pit or the mausoleum floors. I think it might actually be ash pit, I'll be honest. Mausoleum has some nasty fucking rooms, but ash pit is just evil. It's just heinous. The, the things they put you through. Oh my god. Uh, Mr. Adam would also been great. Pisces for the, the tear, bra uh, tear breaker would have been great, but come on, this is fucking ghost pepper. What more could you want? A crawl space? Hello there. Oh, cool. I love when you use GB bug on a red heart and it turns into a red heart. That's that's great news. I, I love that. Yeah, I, I, huge fan, huge fan. Uphill. Health down. Cool. I love this game. <laughs> I love this game. Uh, might as well restock a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Fuck it. Chaos time. May chaos take the world. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Give me that. That's gonna help. First payout, come on. Oh, I'm putting all my money into this thing, if I have to. Let's go! Oh, next time's also good. But holy shit, that's... What the hell, man? That's an incredible claw game. That alone is just gonna make my life so much better here. Ghost Bombs, a, an angel deal, which uh, gives me future angel deals that are guaranteed. I love to see it. <laughs> Things you love to see. It. All right, man. This run is looking pretty. Things are going up on this bitch of an earth. <laughs> there is like a penny up here. Is a penny worth it? Absolutely. If I can get toothpicks, that would be amazing. It's a big old tears up and I wouldn't mind having it. Unfortunate. Mm, I'm not crying. Wait a second. I was already using the bomb for one penny. Why not use my bombs for something much more productive? I don't need all these bombs. Crack the sky, huh? Probably better than Book of Sin, I'll be honest. Yeah, I'll, I'll rock crack this guy. And, crucially, he gave me one more play on this. Which paid out. I would have been very mad if that was a good item at the final spot. Thankfully, it isn't. But that would have been fairly upsetting. Thankfully, it wasn't, so it's all fine. GB bug. Let's go, more money. Should have been using that way more. I tend to forget that you can use it like once per room. Do I need this bomb? Not really. Turn into a chest. Uh, turn into more red hearts. Okay, cool. Ooh. Ooh, okay. 
Damn. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, well, goodbye do donation machine. <laughs> I need a little bit more cash, but I think I should be able to acquire five cents somehow. I think making five more cents on this floor should be easily possible. Maybe I need to abuse GB bug a little bit. Maybe I need to try and somehow find my secret room of course with a blind active. Oh no. Down here. It's right down here. I know it. Oh my god. I can't believe that I actually worked. What the fuck? I'm I'm cracked. I'm goaded. I, I had a divine vision. I My mind's eye opened and I just knew that the secret room had to be there. That's an incredible get. Holy shit. Brimstone, baby. It's a weird, like, blurple beam. That's that's funny. Okay. I don't want mom's knife. Am I crazy for not wanting mom's... I don't want mom's knife. D1, absolutely not. I like brimstone without mom's knife more. Call me crazy, but that's, that's, how, I, that's how I feel about it. I don't want it there. Vegas. Sure. Give me my mapping. Return my map to me, wench. I want to know where everything is. Anyway, here's a question for something that I genuinely do not understand because I've never really consumed the media. But when did we in the in the West at least decide as a species to just take a bunch of Muppets? And I'm not talking about the the British term for calling somebody an idiot, but you know the Muppets, the 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 man puppets, the hand puppets or whatever. When did we as a species decide to take those guys and just pretend that they're like real people? I mean, they're controlled and played and voiced by real people, sure, but they're characters, right? They're just, they're just characters, they're just puppets. Like, maybe I just don't understand it, maybe it's like boomer-coded humor and that's why I don't understand like what the deal with the Muppets is, but why are they a thing? Still, mind you, right? Why do we just pretend like they're real people? I don't mind it. I, I, I like it. I don't think it's weird necessarily. I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me. I just think it's kind of interesting. Where did this? I forgot to use practice guy by the way. Like, where did this come from? Why did why did we start that as a as a thing? Right? I just don't understand that part. Where who came up with the idea of creating the Muppets and having them? Well, basically, it's not like they're acting like people. I mean, they are, but like, when did we also go along with the bit and decide, hey, we're just going to pretend these are like real human beings. We're just going to go out of our way to pretend that they're actually people instead of, you know, puppets that are controlled by someone. I guess to keep up the illusion. I the, 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 the thing that interests me the most is that the Muppets aren't for kids, right? They're not like Sesame Street. They're not, they're not for kids. They're, they, they, they're kind of raunchy in, in the humor, right, usually. There, there's a lot of more adult themes to it, so... It's not like they're intended for children, which I guess is the next part that I think is a bit strange about it. Oh, another HP down? Wow, these pills have been absolutely wonderful. I love it. Thanks, game. I love being on one HP, like, the entire run. I'm just trying to understand, basically, where the Muppets came from and what the, what the point is. <laughs> what the... Who came up with that? Why we just kind of pretend they're real, they're, they're real human beings. Like, why don't the actors that the, the, the control the Muppets or whatever get the recognition, you know? Why Why is it only the character? And can you imagine having to play the character for your, your entire life? Like, how do they, How if there's like an interview, like say they put fucking Kermit the Frog on a fucking talk show or something, how, the, how do the logistics of that work? Do they have a dude just hiding behind the chair, sticking his arm through the, the seat or something? Like, how does it work? It's an, it's an insane amount of logistical work they go through just to, well, keep up the illusion, I guess. Which I respect, to be honest. I, I I do respect that a little bit. There's a little bit of audacity to it almost, right? Trying to go as far as that to try and keep up the act. Show must go on and all that, I suppose. I don't know, I never really got it. I, I haven't really ever watched anything Muppet related. I, again, I was like never too interested in it. I think it's just very boomer, very boomer centric. So that's probably why. I think, I think it's my parents love the Muppets or something probably, but I never really got the the hype or anything like that. It's just it was just like oh it's just puppets that like have some adult humor or whatever, and that's about it, right? What the fuck? Do I want echo chamber or do I want flight? There's gonna be other ways to get. Mm, nah, I want flight. I actually want flight. Anything cool? In Ancient revelation. I want that. Why do I use a bomb for this guy? I don't have to use a bomb for this guy. Five more cents should be doable if I find my secret room, which has proven to be a little bit of a challenge, actually. Oh, jeez. I can't believe that didn't kill me. What the fuck? Okay, that killed me. That's fine. Whatever. 
Hey, GP bug, turn it into money. I need money! I might have to blow up this beggar that I'm carrying with my judgment card and pray he somehow gives me four cents, which I'm starting to believe is kind of unrealistic and not gonna happen. Um, I gotta find my damn secret rooms, it's the only way. Uh, I can't believe it's not there, man. Like, there's no way, right? No, it isn't. What the fuck? Is it... down here? What the fuck? It's not even got money in it! Well, at least I got some tears up, so that's nice. And a gulp. That's huge, actually. <laughs> Um, how am I gonna finesse this ancient revelation? The challenge room, please. Well, it does come with something, but not money, crucially, which is what I need. Don't cock me out of my ancient revelation like this. You can't do this to me. You cannot do this to me. I gotta blow this guy up. Three cents, please. That's one cent. I haven't been using GB bug. Money? No! Oh, please! I don't really know anymore, man. I, I kind of, I'm kind of out of... At a wit's end here. Um, let's beat the boss for now. Maybe you want to draw pageant board or something. That would be ideal. I mean, it's not going to happen because I have chaos, but still, it would be amazing. Blue map is nice, actually. I guess I'll take the damage. You can't dangle an item in front of me like this. Please drop two cents, I beg of you. Let's go! I, I can't believe I forgot about that beggar in there or that, that shopkeeper. Holy shit. We are so back. It is, it is, it is so going to continue. It's, it never even ended in the first place. It's never, it's never stopped. There's coming back and there's it never even stopping. This is, this is unbelievable. This is incredible. Look at that. It's like I got brainworm, except all the good aspects of it as well. Or other good aspects with it. Although it doesn't look like my blood clots beam is affected by it. A bit of a shame, perhaps? But I can live with it. It'd be worse. So how come I got Curse of the Unknown again? What the hell is the deal with that, man? Anything cool in here? Shielded tears. Well, that should uh, make it so I never get hit by anything ever again, so that's fine. Do it the good way. Use this on mom. Used it way too soon. I don't know what I was thinking. It doesn't matter though, she died anyway. Let's go up today and see what this angel deal holds. A little chest. All right, well, uh, you win some, you lose some. At least the items are free. At least I'm not paying for them. Might as well check this out if I get the opportunity to. Oh, cool, Pyromaniac. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's fine. That'll do something good for me. I don't even have to be on Axis for you. That's <laughs> so good. Also, here's a here's another uh, intriguing question. You know how some places in the world, some, some towns have very funny names? I can't think of many off the top of my head right now, but sometimes, like you say, you're playing GeoGuessr or you're just perusing a map randomly, and you find, like, a really funny town name in, like, the US or Canada or something like that. How do you think some of those town names came to be? It's, it's really funny to think about to me. Much rather, do you think any of those town names could become a thing nowadays? Because if you think about it, what does it take to found a town, to create a town nowadays? Like, say you just had copious amounts of land somehow. You had access to an insane amount of land, and you just wanted to start a a city on there, sort of town. Could you just name it whatever the fuck you wanted? How are town names, like, where do they come from, right? I feel like calling, uh, calling a town something is, is something, I think in, if you have a lot of history to it, if you're talking like medieval towns or cities or whatever, yeah, obviously those are usually maybe named after the people that founded them, some king or lord or whatever. But like, in the, in the more modern world, right, in the, in the western hemisphere or whatever, how's that, how's that work? Where do town names derive from? And if you come up with, like, a really funny name, like, could you just call your city fucking Pussy Town? <laughs> like, would the government let you get away with that? As long as you're just paying taxes? Do they care? I wonder if this will give my clot homing. Oh, it totally does. Okay. That's cool. If he's not affected by my bendy beam, uh, my 90 degree bendy beam, he can be affected by this instead, <laughs> which is also fun. Are there actual... Guidelines or rules. Matter of fact, can you even found a new town nowadays? If you're in like a very industrialized nation where basically all the land is already owned by somebody, could you buy enough land, let alone use it to found a new town or city on it? Is that even possible? I suppose you could always become part of like a city council or something. And then if you have enough people Agreeing with you, you could probably just change the name of an existing city, right? That's probably possible. If you could somehow become the mayor of, I don't know, Chicago, you could probably rename it to something funnier if you wanted to, if you could somehow get enough people to agree with you. And then from that day forward, Chicago will be known as, I don't know, I can't think of anything funny. Gabagool. 
You can just call it Gabagool instead. Would it be ridiculous? Yeah, of course. But could the government stop you from doing that? Could they, would they, would that be something the government has control over? As long as it doesn't change anything about the administrative works of the city or stop you from paying taxes, why would they care, right? Oh, cool, another guppy item. So long as you're just paying your taxes and not breaking any laws or anything. I guess you could probably not name your city something, you know, grossly offensive or something, maybe? Yeah, I'm sure the government would probably not like that if you had a town named after, say, the N-word or something. Yeah, okay, fair, fair. Yeah, you could probably not get away with that. Oh, it's in the drawer. But beyond that, though? I think within reason, you could get away with a lot. I don't know, I've never run a government before. I don't know what it's like. <laughs> any, any, uh, city founders in chat? Any government officials uh, interested? Uh, Joe Biden, are you watching? If Joe Biden could have his own city, what would it be called? I don't know. I, I don't think he would be able to complete the sentence, uh, like, telling you what the city is called before somehow going off on another tangent about God knows what. It's, it's just funny to me, okay? I'm not even American. I just love watching videos where Joe Biden just is, is clearly not all there mentally. He's kind of wandering off both physically and mentally doing... Lord knows what. I should be voiding that guppy spa, by the way. But maybe I can black rune. I'm holding out a hope on black runing the uh, the chest room. Maybe all the items in there are terrible, and then I can have multiple items voided, right? Maybe that's gonna work out. Yeah, see, most of these are pretty meh. Tarot cloth? Nah, man, I'm just gonna void all these. Oh, look at those stats. That's juicy. But if I ever get anything that isn't a chest, I should just reroll it. And try to get a chest out of it instead. I think that's a smart idea. That's what I should be using GB bug for. Maximize my chances of getting chests. Like, I don't need a nickel. I don't really need a bomb either. I should be leaving them around, to be fair, but whatever. My luck's high enough that I'm probably getting a room drop every clear anyway. So who really cares? Okay, well, I didn't get one that time. Oh, there's enough stuff lying around. Hey, there's Red Heart. Can be a chest, right? Fine, fine. How rare is it for GB bug to turn something into a chest, man? That shit seems very uncommon. Oh, speaking of chests. Oh, that's actually a good item, too. I gotta open that though. It's more consumables at the end of the day. More stuff to potentially chestify. That's when um that's when you're called to the witness stand in court, but you just had like a massive pump, like a massive chest day. So you're chestifying. You just you just start hitting poses <laughs> on the witness stand. <laughs> you think people have done that? Yeah, I always sometimes see those videos where people are like, you know, sir hand hands behind your back and then they uh, start posing to show off their Show off their gains or whatever. Did I just turn my whatever I had into something? Who cares? There's a great video where uh, dudes like the police when they find 40 guns in the trunk of my car, and then the caption is, uh, "Officer, I think you forgot to," and he starts flexing. It's really funny. You forgot these two guns. It was, that's funny. God, I wish that were me someday. I think inside every man uh, is the goal that even if you're not like into anime or into cosplay or whatever, and inside every man there is the goal. Like, the, the inherent goal where you're like, God, I wish I could pull off, like, a Guts cosplay. You know Guts from Berserk? God, I wish I could pull that off. Can you imagine being built like that? You could wish for nothing more, except... Uh, like, I would love to be built like that without all the, you know, other shit that's attached with... That, that Guts had to go through, um... But, uh, you know, uh... <laughs> imagine, bro. Is it is it too late? Do I have to start at, like, age 5 to... Like, working out with a sword that's three times my size and body weight? Or can I still go there? Can I still get like a massive sword that's that's three times my size and weighs as much as me, if not more, and I can lug it around and uh, get built like that? God, I wonder how much you could bench press. <laughs> that's is that, why is that like the main thing that everybody's always so obsessed with is bench pressing? I don't, I don't get it. Bench pressing isn't even like a useful exercise. I, I, I think at least I don't know. I don't go to the gym. I work out at home. I don't have a barbell, right? I don't have a bench for that matter. If I had a bench, at least I could shoulder press because I have dumbbells, but, you know. I don't understand people's obsession with bench pressing. Why is, like, the bench press the, the holy grail of, like, if you can bench press 100 kilos, you're, like, a... You're you're really strong. I mean, it is a lot of weight, don't get me wrong, but... I feel like... I, I think uh, just body strength in general is way crazier. Like, somebody being able to deadlift or to bench press a huge amount of weight is also impressive. But I feel like that's all they can usually do. I think somebody who can, you know, do crazy kinds of pull-ups and like swing around on bars, like gymnasts or just anything like uh, calisthenics related basically, I think is way more impressive. And it's probably more practical because, well, the only thing you're ever realistically lugging about is your own body weight. And if you can move your body freely, that's cool as hell. Anyway, I'm done for today. That's the controversial take at the end of it for all the gym rats to be upset about, I guess.
<laughs> I don't care if you work out, okay? As long as you feel good. Anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.